sorry. Sometimes I go full wolf when I don't need to. Um, I don't think he has another girlfriend. Maybe another dog. <laughs> there are people around. Sorry, I can't help it. Now, based on the fact neither of you ran off, I'd say you also have a secret. What are you, an elf, a wizard, a genie, or just desperate? <laughs> I'm a wizard. And I'm not. And right now I'm kind of glad. I knew there was something about you. I apologize for rushing off all the time, but now you can see what the moon does to me. Your necklace is still glowing. So? Must be the batteries. No, I lied. It's not battery operated. It's a magic necklace. It only glows when you're in love with the person who put it on you. Oh, well, then I guess it works. And very convenient, too, because now I don't have to tell you, which is something I'm not really good at. Usually when girls find out I'm a werewolf, they run off, which can only be taken as a breakup. Well, does this look like I'm running off? Aww, but so freaky and romantic at the same time. <laughs> So, the first time I turned, I was in London, stuck behind a lorry at Piccadilly Circus as the moon rose. <laughs> what? Piccadilly, it's a funny word. Listen to it. Piccadilly. <laughs> Sorry, Mason. Continue. What could I do but dash into a building where I found myself in the middle of a dog competition? I jumped through hoops, walked in circles, and accidentally won best in show. <laughs> You'd be best in any show. Well, Mason, you seem like a fine young man wolf who respects and cares for Alex. And if you don't, I'll hunt you down like a dog and, well, you get the picture. I won't forget that, sir. Does he like me? <laughs> that Alex is happy. In fact, I'm gonna make you guys matching dog hair vests. I've got this cousin in Albany who's a dog groomer. He can send me what I need, so. <laughs> hey, hey, guys, check it out. Mason's a werewolf. Oh my gosh, that's awesome. Now I'm not gonna be the only one who likes to eat out of a bowl on the floor. <laughs> okay, Justin, take your best shot. You can pay me back for all the times I bagged on all your Wizard World girlfriends. Remember? At one time, I asked if I could ride your centaur girlfriend to school. <laughs> Alex, I'm happy that you found happiness in a relationship, no matter what species he is. What's important is that you're with someone. Max and I have looked everywhere for Juliet, and I can't find her. I've lost her forever to the mummy. I think it's time for me to give up. Wait, Justin. I. I want you to be happy like I am with Mason. There's got to be something that we can do. You know, as a werewolf, I have keen dog-sniffing abilities. If I could have a sample of her scent, I might be able to track the target. No, Mason. We need to find Justin's girlfriend, not a girl named Target. I have some of her dental floss right here. Check that out. Let me have a sniff. Get a good whiff. Get a good sniff. Get a good scent in your sniff it up, you sniffy mix sniff. Okay, I've got it. Sorry. Now go get my snuggly boo boo McCuticans. <laughs> Alex, thank you for not letting me give up on Juliet. It feels good to have hope again. You know, ever since I met Mason, stuff like hope doesn't actually annoy me anymore. Oh! Why the hell? I think he's got the scent. Let's go! It's not fair. How come he gets to pee on every tree we pass and you slap me when I did it? <laughs> oh, that's better. Oh, 
Hey, I've been meaning to ask you something. I thought when a werewolf kisses a non-werewolf, they turn into a werewolf. That's only with mutts. I'm a purebred. Huh. Did you hear that, Justin? My boyfriend's a purebred. <laughs> Sure, we're in the right place. Hard to confuse vampire breath with another scent. <laughs> ah! The young fool has finally come. To the mummy! <laughs> Whatever you guys do, do not look into his eyes, or else he'll shoot these red beams and turn you into his minion. Well, thank you for that, Mr. Over Explainer. <laughs> Only an idiot would look into the mummy's eyes. Hey, mummy, I think your kid's looking for you. <laughs> We've come for Juliet. I know. Your undying love for Juliet made me expect your arrival. Really? <laughs> Actually, no. It was Juliet's constant yammering. My boyfriend's gonna come for me. My boyfriend's coming for me. Oh, Dude, that's actually a really good impression. <laughs> Release Juliet so she can be with Justin and we can all get back to doing the boyfriend-girlfriend thing. <laughs> Juliet! Someone's here to see you! Juliet! What did you do to my beautiful, sweet vampire girlfriend? Ah, uh, it's a way to keep her frozen until I need her to do stuff for me. <laughs> oh, man, these are my church shoes. Ah. Oh. Perfect. Hey, give me that. Why? That's not a shoe scraper. This scarab beetle is the key to reanimating the girl in the hieroglyph. <laughs> Uh-oh. Oh, I talk too much. Forget what I just said. <laughs> I need to clean my shoes with something. Oh, not this. This'll work. Hey, cut it out. Max, hand me the bandage. Good thinking, Max. No! Oh, no, no, that's not fair. Oh, this is not good. How does this work? Here, try this. like Justin did with her. <laughs> You're looking at me, and I'm not turning into a minion. Or am I? No, I don't know what a minion is. Mason. Thanks. I owe you one. Mason? Hello, Juliet. It's been a long time. Well, yeah. 300 years. You haven't changed. Actually, I change all the time, remember? Oh, my gosh, yeah. Ready? Fetch, fetch, boy, fetch. Go. Yeah, go get the... Go get the... Oh, good job. Uh... What's going on? Uh, do you... Do you guys know each other? Yeah, uh, we, we used to go out. Uh, Juliet was my girlfriend. Um, wait a minute. So your girlfriend and my boyfriend used to be boyfriend and girlfriend. girlfriend. <laughs> that would explain why she's scratching him behind the ear. Oh. Oh, man. Hey, guys, check it out. You are now under my power. Go make me some waffles. <laughs> <laughs> it's a bad time. 